Welcome to the vlog. This is what is on this week's episode. Today is the first of three back-to-back -back weddings and we are here at Gibbon Bridge for Danielle and Martin's wedding. Today we're doing video, we're working with Jack Valentine who is no doubt listening to me somewhere maybe. Um, but the sky is blue, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Really ready for this one. So here we are at Gibbon Bridge. This is actually the first time we've actually done prep at Gibbon Bridge before. Uh, the room was absolutely huge. We've worked with Jack Valentine again been a while. This was actually a really late booking for us. These guys only booked last week uh, so it was nice to get like a last minute booking and it ended up being an awesome wedding. Super super chilled guests, lovely bride and groom and um, gorgeous location obviously given bridge. <laughs> she wasn't overly keen about me videoing her, putting her fans of her face but it was so unbelievably hot. This is little Arlo walking down the aisle with his walker there. The groom had no idea this was happening so it's really beautiful. Look at how bright that is outside. It was so so hot, it was unreal. This is quite a bit later on, we left it for a while uh, just to let the sun die a little bit just so it's not too harsh. It goes lower in the sky and then you can start playing around with it like this and getting those nice little flare shots. And back to one of my favorite parts of any wedding day. How awesome is it to see packed dance floors? It's so nice for everyone to be able to just get back on the dance floor. They make for such awesome photographs and videos and we missed it so much. That's number one, done. And it was amazing. Good. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was absolutely roasting today, like the hottest day that we've had in a while. Hot, yeah. I was Fun under the pagoda, so for the sirenus, I was Oh no, right. I found some shade under the little... Oh, okay, that's thing. good. But yeah, it was it was absolutely roasting all day. Got some gorgeous light la later on. We, we saved the formals with Jack until a little bit later, just so the sun had come down a little bit, and it was, it was lush, it was really, really nice. So yeah, that is one of three done. It was awesome and we shall see you tomorrow in almost kirk for number two see you later on to jess and jamie these guys had about five different dates i think it was it was a super cool wedding they got married in almost kirk registry office there and then they put a teepee on a friend's farm um, and it had real kind of festival vibes they had a food truck they had a camper van that converted into a bar and uh, the food from the food truck was absolutely next level. It's probably the best food I've ever had at a wedding. Mm -hmm. um, that's the buffet and the main meal were just awesome. And then it's cool to get some really different shots like this, some like really kind of rusticy, farmy shots. And um, it's it's cool. We shoot a lot of big manor houses, and it's nice to have something really completely different that throws you a curveball. Um, and we were super happy with the images, and the guys were brilliant. Yeah, this isn't the greatest angle. I appreciate that now. Um, it's a nice leaf for you to look at, but if you have a look at the shot in the bottom left, that's what I was going for. Absolutely gorgeous. Hi. <laughs> Day two. We, we've, this is like the fifth time we've tried to do this. And we're we very keep... hot and we're very sweaty, but yeah. it's been a very, very good day so far. It's been it so far. So far because it there's might more go to come. rubbish. Yeah, no, there's more to come. <laughs> it's been ace, yeah. The guys got married at Omskirk Registry Office. Um, they were married, they were meant to get married at several venues. Yes, this is their fifth, fifth, fifth yeah, date they've the had. So date. it has been quite emotional because they've finally done it. Yeah. Because I think they were both very chilled and then it happened and it, yeah, emotions were running high. Yeah, it's awesome though. So they've yeah. got um, a family friends farm um, and they've put a teepee on the farm and it just looks ace they've got a burger van which was amazing oh, they've got like the a food. they've got like a camper van serving drinks out of it and it's just it's so, so, cool. it's so laid back chilled yeah everybody's just got the fans out there's flip-flops there's dj going already that's all it takes for sue just like fans and flip-flops yeah. happy days and like, anything else. what 90s music 2000 billy piper chumba wumba spice girl it's just the classics it's good it's really good 
Um, so yeah, most of the stuff's done. We've done the group shots. We've had the, the ceremony, the speeches. Um, so we're just waiting on the sun to come down a little bit. One, so we stop sweating as much. And two, so the light is a little bit better for the evening shots of yeah. riding groom. Um, who have been awesome, haven't they? Oh, amazing. Yeah, just But we Jamie. knew from the start, didn't we? Because they've just been yeah. all the way through rescheduling emails and everything. It's just been, yeah. So yeah, glad I'm going to do a YouTube thing here. If you go here, <gasps> you'll see the pre wedding shoot. Oh, that's the dogs. Clever. I like yeah. It. I need to remember to put that in there. Uh, but yeah, it's been wicked. It's been a really, really good day. Um, so, two days out of the three. Oh, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> I mean, that's number two, right? Because I'm ready to go. And tomorrow is number three. Um, yeah, it's been two, two awesome weddings, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been really good. Weddings are back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think you've like gone off the oh, side. Sorry. Right, I think we're done with that now. <laughs> and then through into the later hours of the wedding. The sun's come down a little bit, so I'll get out and do a couple more portraits. And then this is the really relaxed vibe I was talking about in the TP. It's so cool. That's the camper van there in the background, the bar. And then throwing the bouquet. No one ever does that anymore. I don't understand why that's one tradition that's kind of been left. People keep a load of traditions at a wedding, but never throw the bouquet in. It's so much fun to film and photograph. Um, people absolutely love it, so do it. Now into the villa at Levens, um, up in Kendall. Beautiful venue. It's the first time we shot there. It's. Uh, I believe it's owned by the same people that have got the villa in Ray Green that we've been to quite a few times, but absolutely gorgeous venue. Really, really nice. This is the ceremony room that looks a lot like a, a, a wedding chapel, if you will. Beautiful decoration, loads of light coming through the side. So really, really nice opportunities for photographs. Gotta love a confetti shot. Look at the sheer amount of confetti, that's so awesome. I love that. But there's loads of grounds at the hotel as well to, to kind of shoot in. There's this gorgeous long driveway which looks amazing. They've got a swing, they've got all sorts. So today we've had the wedding of Roxy and Chris. A new venue for us, so we are at the villa at Levens. Yes. <laughs> um, so we've been to the Villa Ray Green quite a few times, that's nearer to us, uh, but this one's up in Kendall. Mm. Um, gorgeous venue, really, really nice venue. Um, and it's been wicked, it's been a really cool day. Really friendly guests, um, who we've now got like a gambling den going on <laughs> at the moment, which Nana's getting involved in as well. Um, she didn't win, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, super cool guests. Um, really cool day, really nice and chill. It's been. Bloody good, isn't it? Really good, yeah. And they are just setting up a real live dance floor. Yeah, like, dance the floor. Down, DJ set up. I can't. When when was the last time we even actually seen oh, a proper dance I can't floor? I remember. But yeah, so they're, they're setting that up. We're currently walking down a random lane. I have no idea what this is going. Country road. Um, but yeah, it's been wicked. It's been really, really good. Um, three on the bounce. It's first time we've done three on the bounce in what? Eighteen months. 18 months? <laughs> Nearly two years, maybe. Um, but it's been really good, really, really cool to be back. Um, sorry we've not vlogged as much, but hopefully we've, I've clicked the button on the GoPro enough on top of the camera to uh, let you have like an insight of, of the uh, weddings. But we've still got the rest of today's wedding and then we have, what, two pre-weddings tomorrow? Pre tomorrow, two pre-weddings on Tuesday. Yeah, so we've still got another four pre-weddings to come on this, so. Carry on watching all the way to the end, partly because it's really fun and partly because it does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. Um, and while we're here as well, oh, like, shameless subscribe, plug, share. yeah, <laughs> do all, do all the, the, the YouTube stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it. See, the night actually went off, the dance floor was insane, but unfortunately, this idiot forgot to use the GoPro and record it, but we still have the photos. Good morning. 
today is Sunday and I am at Worden Park for two pre-weddings. Firstly for Kaylee and Stuart and then later for Vicky and Anthony. Got to admit feeling a little bit tender after three weddings on the bounce uh, but it's good. The sun is shining this morning. Uh, it's nowhere near as hot as it has been for the last few days so that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, ready to see the guys again and get on with the shoot. Double Word and Park action. If you're from Preston Leyland area, you'll know Word and Park. Absolutely amazing for doing pre-wedding shoots. Loads of different areas to shoot in from streams to gardens, big open spaces. Really, really nice. These guys were absolutely naturals in front of the camera. And then in the afternoon we were back for the second part. Again making use of the stream and the bridge there. Beautiful photos. So that is another day done. Uh, two awesome pre-wedding shoots. Both sets of guys were absolutely brilliant. Um, amazing in front of camera. Even if they said they were nervous. You know, they were really because they were awesome. Um, it was great. Absolutely fantastic shoots. We have another one tomorrow and I think another two on Tuesday to cap off what has been an absolutely insane week. So that would be three weddings and five pre-weddings in a week. So this is gonna be a bit of a jam-packed vlog. Um, congratulations if you're still with us. Stay with us until the end. You know, don't, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. But yeah, it's been, been an amazing day today and I'll see you tomorrow. Just for the record, I won't actually see you. You'll see me, but you know, you know what I meant. So today is Monday, and I am on Lytham St Anne's Beach for the pre-wedding of Jennifer and James. There's the pier itself. Just about to wonder it. So a bit busier than I thought it would be, to be honest, for seven o'clock on a Monday evening. But I guess it is just some holidays. Um, loads of kids off school, things like that. But this is what we came for. Look at that gorgeousness. Uh, so looking forward to seeing the guys and having a play in around right here and I think probably over to the dunes, like right here-ish. Um, some nice long grass to play around in. Uh, should be good. It's been a while since we've been to St Anne's Beach to do a pre-wedding shoot, but absolutely gorgeous. Um, we should start suggesting that more often because it's it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it wasn't too busy. We got some a long time. You can see though it's pretty dead in the background, but there's not many places you can get gorgeous shots like these. These two confident as hell in front of the camera, unbelievable. They're actually dancers, as you can see here. This is Jennifer doing fancy spin and a dip. Absolutely awesome. Today is Tuesday and it's actually in the afternoon. Uh, we already did a photo shoot this morning. We were in Didsbury with Ellie and Josh. This is their pre shoot. Very much enjoyed my time with these guys. They were ace. We went over to Didsbury and we took some shots in the botanical gardens. Not that Ellie knew where they were. She thought they were a completely different part, which was funny. Um, but yeah, these guys were super cool. really easy to work with uh, and their wedding is this week so looking forward to that you'll see that on the next vlog we're going to Whitworth Hall and now a bit closer to home really close to home in fact um, for Ashley and Victoria's pre-wedding shoot um, the guys are local to us they live in the next village over um, so we've come to the Brickcroft in long term uh, so we're just about to do their shoot now now we've known Ash for a long time. We've photographed his sister Jenny's wedding a few years back and Ash is a joiner by trade and actually made our backdrop that you might see in another vlog that we take to wedding fairs um, and he helps us set the, the bigger backdrop up at the big wedding fairs. Uh, so really nice to be shooting his wedding. So that is another week of the vlog done. A pretty packed week. Three weddings, five pre-wedding shoots but it is awesome to be back and to be busy. We are loving life at the moment. If you've enjoyed this and you've made it this far, hit the like button, 
hit the subscribe button if you can, that'd be amazing. It really helps the channel and gets us in front of as many people as we possibly can. Next week is gonna be equally as huge because we have four back-to-back -back weddings next week. So hit the subscribe button, tune in next week, and I will see you then. Have an awesome day.